A new look for the Roebling Bridge. It's not just a fix. They've got the net up and now they're piecing it together. It's more like a fashion statement and this one seems to be saying industrial size granny panties. Look Saggy here, diaper. Um, I mean, it looks, you know, like a, a little pair of panties down here. The heavy duty net is designed to catch falling rocks, but it's also catching attention. It looks like somebody hung their laundry out. <laughs> that's, that's worth it. The net was custom made, it came in a box, was spread out over the bridge, then hoisted up. And while it looked a little like Spider Man sneezed as it went into place, visuals are not the pressing concern. This is just a temporary measure that uh, it's kind of an emergency fix. Nancy Wood with the Kentucky Transportation Cabinet says safety is the key at this point. Once they get it all installed and the scaffolding down, we'll have the bridge back open. The bridge was shut down in April after we alerted authorities that rocks, some the size of softballs, had fallen from the North Tower. Crews later found even more loose rocks that could fall. We had some pieces that were up to 60 pounds. Businesses like Smoke Justice in Covington can't wait for the bridge reopening with a busy fall ahead. Yeah, we're excited. It's getting towards football season. It's getting towards baseball playoff season. The cost for the entire project, $78,000, and taxpayers will be glad to know. Apparently, none of that was wasted on aesthetics. Now, while the look is getting some looks, the real beauty of this fix is in the design here. Uh, it, really, the function is the fashion in this new bridge fix. And if all goes as planned, they're telling us this could be open as soon as next week. Reporting live, Brian Hemrick, WLWT News 5. Oh.